It is hour two here on K-Poppin'. For those of you who didn't get a chance to win some prizes in the first hour, we're going to be testing your K-Pop knowledge with uh, our K-Pop MVP. The one lucky listener who gets chosen and uh, wins is going to walk away with our second argument, which is Astro Science CD. Kuhn's going to be joining us in the studio to help you out, so stay tuned for that. We've got a pretty hot topic to talk about today, so stay tuned. We're going to be testing your K-Pop knowledge. Cram Pop is gearing up for a comeback. They gave us a uh, pre-release track so we're gonna get you into the concentration mood with their track vroom vroom we'll see you guys back after this with our k-pop mvp the first place to listen to the hottest k-pop k-pop in with dj isa MVP. All right, it's time for our K pop MVP. Here to help you win some prizes is Barry Goods Cool. Hello, Mary Chisong. Mary Chisong. <laughs> It's uh, the Eve Eve. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Chuseok holiday. Mm. Um, cool. Yeah. Favorite Chuseok memory? Memory? Uh, 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 one of my most favorite memory is my childhood when I, when I wore hanbok in front of my family and get, got some yongtun. <laughs> got allowance. <laughs> yes. That was great. That was my favorite. You don't get allowance anymore? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. You're well, still young enough, I feel. Yes, but there are there are more younger, younger cousins. Yes. Ah. And I have to give them money. Money. Already? <gasps> no, not yet, but 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 it's yeah, but it's my opinion. <laughs> oh, okay. It's your mm -hmm. choice too. Mm -hmm. Aw. Kun, you got your nails done. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I just I, I see all these like shiny things on her nails <laughs> it's kind of hard not to notice her nails because they're so bling bling right yeah, now yeah i like i like such bling bling shiny things <laughs> i can tell yes okay today's giveaway is astro sign cd uh this is a start in a pretty big giveaway we've been giving out pretty big cds this week uh, just to kind of get into the giving mood because uh, chuseok is the korean thanksgiving mm -hmm. uh now today we're going to be talking about something that i think a lot of the listeners might actually find a little bit easier mm. now what i've noticed with a lot of our k-pop and listeners and just in general a lot of the arirang radio listeners they're not originally k-pop fans yes they're originally k-drama fans yes right so they start off with the dramas mm -hmm. then they start liking the celebrities thanks to the soundtracks yes. or the fact that the celebrities are in the dramas mm. so cool and have you been watching any of the more recent dramas <laughs> right now yeah which one <laughs> um i can say <laughs> Kurumi Green Diary. Okay, so clouds drawn and moonlight. Yeah, yeah. Moonlight drawn by the clouds. Yes, <gasps> I really love love the characters, all the characters there. Yeah, so a lot of people have been talking about it. I have seen a few episodes. Uh -huh. uh, I do want to say that Park Bogam, I think, is yes! elevated <laughs> to the next level. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I think that a lot of people were worried yeah. if he could break his, uh, his sweet, own character, innocent yeah. Yeah, in image from mm. Reply series. Yes. But no, he, I, like, even myself, I've been watching him and I was like, he's a really good actor. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell she really is watching the drama. Yes, I actually saw the drama before this radio. <laughs> When I okay. move into this Okay, studio. so yeah. she was watching highlights. All right. Yes. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about some idols who are currently showing off their acting skills mm -hmm. in some dramas. Uh, we've got Chinese Key, uh, oh. After School's Nana, uh -huh. Girls Day's Mina as well. Yes, um, yes, yes. Let's see here. I did see Nana's role in Good Wife. Mm -hmm. So I got a new TV. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah. And <laughs> I've been seeing a little bit of the flaws yes. of UHD TVs. Mm. So my TV is a UHD TV. I upgraded my TV the first time in 10 years. So I've been watching TV off of a really small uh -huh. TV screen. Yeah. And so I upgraded it to a pretty big screen. Oh. And I've been seeing some flaws with having too good of quality of a TV. Yes. <laughs> so acting mm -hmm. on a big screen mm -hmm. especially with the uhd that i have right now mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like i'm watching a drama it looks like i'm on a music video or a drama shoot oh. and i'm seeing the small screen yes. that the producer or the director sees yes right. so it looks like i'm looking at an angle instead of an actual <laughs> drama so i've been yeah it's been really hard for me to watch dramas these mm -hmm. days because of the excessive yeah. hd um, but I want to give praise to all of our idols because they are doing so well mm -hmm. to the point where even though they are plastered in front of a big screen at the moment, they seem to be doing a very good job. Yes, right. So yes, Nana's uh, role in Good Wife, very, very noteworthy. Mm -hmm. uh, Girls Days Mina's been doing really good. I know that she's probably feeling a little bit of a burden because Hedy's drama did so well. Yes. But she's doing her own good acting mm -hmm. um and of course we did get a chance to see gd did you see yeah the infinite challenge yeah I, I i did see all the series you got did yeah. you see this week's yes this week's you saw this week so mm. gd's yes role was big in this week's yes it was really bad really yeah really uh, yes didn't you see this week's yeah i did uh, but he was bad Oh, okay. Yeah. It was the bad character. Oh, the bad character. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said he was acting was bad. I'm like, <laughs> no, his acting was actually very good. <laughs> yeah, he acts very well. Oh, like, very well. Yeah. He was a bad character, which I didn't expect. Yes. Which I didn't expect. But he suits in the character oh, well. perfectly. <laughs> um, his new neck tattoo, I think, not oh, hiding that was yes. like the point yes, of right. it. Very nicely touched. Mm. Um. But yeah, so our idols are acting very well these days. Mm -hmm. So the actors that we just talked about, uh, IU even, Suji, Yuna, mm -hmm. I mean, these names, Chiyong, they're, you know, they're yeah. household names already. They're acting so well. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of the other artists, and I know that this is only just, you know, the icing on top of the cake. There's so many other artists singers out there that are doing dramas mm -hmm. but uh we're just talking about some of them uh these days v is uh getting ready too for a new one uh hey lows one is also getting ready as well mm. uh cross jeans jin to uh, of course we've got um a lot of other artists as well yeah. so let's start talking about some of the artists that we talked about for the quiz for today for a chance to an astro science cd <gasps> so cool and what is the first question about the first question is about girls day and choose the song which is not a song by Girls Day. Okay, choose a song that is not a song. Ooh, that's kind of hard though, because Girls Day hasn't made a comeback in a while. Yes. They, so if our listeners are newer listeners to the K-pop scene, they might think that's kind of hard. But they appeared at dramas so much these days, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, we're it, the first question is not too hard. Oh, before we actually go into the official quiz, what we need to do is remind you what uh, to do for the quiz today. I noticed that we had a few new listeners today. Mm. So for the K-pop MVP, how do you win a prize? Four questions are going to go out. Kwon's going to give you four questions. Yes. Uh, they're very different types of questions, and you have to get each of these answers correct for you to win a prize which is today's giveaway of astro science cd uh we give you a song break in between each question mm -hmm. and uh, you have to send in the answer before the song break is over because we end the question after each song break yes before yeah so if you are sending in the answers after we've already given you the answer it's kind of going to be disqualified it's not going to be fair to the other listeners mm -hmm. so uh, make sure that you are sending in your answer as fast as possible but we do give you a few song breaks to uh, figure it out so uh, cool and with that in mind uh, let's yes. get into the choices for question number one okay choose the song which is not a song by girls day okay and the choices are one I like that two ring my bell three 기대해 expect four 여자 대통령 female president okay hmm huh I think this one actually might be pretty easy yes I think if you I don't think you need to have to know Girls' mm. Day songs that well. Yes. You need to know the recent music charts. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not most recent this summer. Yes, the summer song. If you know the summer charts, I think it'll be pretty easy. Yeah. So cool, and let's give them the choices again. Uh, choose the song which is not a song by Girls Day. Choices are one, I like that. Two, ring my bell. Three, 기대 expect. Four, 여자 대통령 female president. I cannot pronounce see this this Korean. It's a little word. bit of a tongue twister. Yes, a little bit of a tongue twister. Uh, our next track is going to be three minutes thirteen seconds. So you have a chance to send in your answers through then. But before we go into the song break, Kwon's going to give you the choices one last time. So listen carefully. Yes, choose a song which is not a song by a girl state. Choices are one, I like that. Two, ring my bell. Three, 기대해, expect. Four, 여자 대통령, female president. <laughs> Tongue twister there. <laughs> so you need to figure out which song is not Girls Day's track. Now, uh, what we're going to do is take a quick song break. I'm going to give you a quick hint before that. Uh, if you were um, listening to yesterday's show... <gasps> The Whoa. first hour giveaway CD might be a hint. So uh, if you were listening to our show yesterday, this might help. If not, maybe you can go on my SNS because I did post what CD was the giveaway. Oh. Uh, we've got Girls Day track. It's not one of, from the list, so it's not going to really help that much. But we've got Darling for you. We'll see you guys back after this with the answer and question number two. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the spectacular Thursday summer All right, the song is over. That means that the question is coming to an end as well. So all of our listeners who are sending in the answers to question number one, please stop. Yeah, the question stop. is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Any other answers that are sent in after this are going to be disqualified. So, Kuhn, what yes. was the answer for question number one? The answer was number one. I like that. It was by Sistar. Yeah. Sistar signed CD for I Like That album was given away yesterday in the first hour. So yes. if you checked out my SNS, you probably figured that out. Or if you just knew the answer, then you are a genius. <laughs> so we've got our K-pop MVP going out today. We're talking about some of the artists that are enjoying some acting life right now because mm -hmm. their members are enjoying their acting skills yes. and giving those to us on the big screens. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Astro signed CD up for grabs today to that one lucky listener who gets all four questions um, uh, right and is becoming today's K-pop MVP. Yeah. So cool. Can we get up to question number two? Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> question number two is kind of music question. You can listen to two different clips. One is a hard one and the other is an easy one. So you should figure out both the song title and the artist. All right. So yeah, it's our second question. It's a song question. Uh, you have to figure out song title, artist. Uh, normally, I will give you kind of the outline of what our producer loves to do. Yes. For the hard clip, she tries to give you a hint with the artist. Mm. So she'll choose a member of the team that vocals stand out, mm -hmm. or um, maybe a rap part that everybody knows. That uh, that kind of stuff. Yes. Uh, and then she'll give you a hint with the song title towards the easy clip. Mm -hmm. So uh, that'll be a lot easy for you to focus on when you listen to the yes. choices. Yes. Cool. And are you ready for question number two? Actually, I I, I haven't heard the song before. Really? Yes. No, I think if you listen to it, you know it. Yes. I think you just I don't know so. it. So I just, I just turned the music on with my cell phone, and I, I got it. Okay. Yes. So you listen to the song, you're like, oh, I get it. Yes, right. Ah, okay. So when she saw the title in the... Uh, in the script, she didn't know what the song was, but when she listened, she was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So I think that that would be pretty easy for you, and that's a big hint as it is. So mm -hmm. let's take a listen to the hard clip to see if our listeners can get that, oh, I know this song moment too. So <laughs> listen carefully. Wait up, girl, hold on. So listen, baby. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this week it's very short. Yes. Um... I hope everybody was listening very carefully. Yeah. But like I said, our producer likes to give you a hint with the uh, artist first. Yes. And I feel that she did a really good job of picking the vocalist right. of this team. Right, right. Uh. <laughs> um. Now, to elaborate on this, this team is a very highly vocal team. Yes. Uh, and performers, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, meaning that they have a lot of representative vocalists, mm -hmm. but I think the person we just listened to probably is the most recognizable. Yes, right. 
Yes, I actually studied this voice as my 성대모사. <laughs> Your personal impersonation. Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. It's kind of hard to do, though. Yes, really hard. It's very hard to do. Um, I don't know if this was aired on any program, mm -hmm. but uh, I know that this vocalist from this team yes. actually could never do um, high notes before he debuted. Ah. And I heard this from his vocal coach. Uh, so apparently this vocalist from the team could not hit any high notes. Very soft-spoken person, very soft-spoken singer. Yeah. But then that one point came in his training career uh -huh. that while he was training, he found his voice. And wow. since then, he's like been known for the high notes wow. for this team. That's cool. Yeah. Very interesting. I didn't even know that this was until I heard that. So I thought that was very interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this has ever been said on air, though. I don't know if he's ever said this on air. But anyways, um, that was a little bit of a hint for the member. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe we can take another listen to the hard clip. Yes, yeah, sure. But before <laughs> we do that, go on. Let's tell the listeners what we're doing for question number two. You can listen to two, two different clips. One is a hard one and the other is an easy one. So you should figure out what the song title and the artist is. All right, so the song title and the artist is crucial here. Both have to be correct. Ooh, a lot of our listeners are already sending in the answer. Oh. You guys are amazing. Wow. But let's take a listen to the hard clip one more time. It's really short, so really listen carefully. Yes. Here we go. Wait up, girl. Hold on. So listen, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a hard clip. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the narration in the beginning could kind of help, too. Ah. Oh. Uh, I thought I thought this song was a little bit similar to the other group at their same company. Mm. Yes. True. Yes. Kind of similar in color. Yeah. They have their own style. The company has their own style. They do. This company does have its own style. Yes. I think that this team has their own style as well. Mm -hmm. um, Fashion-wise, I think they're very... Yeah, yeah. High end fashion too. Mm -hmm. Very hard to wear that kind of fashion yes, on a daily right. basis. Uh, so you need to figure out the song title and the artist. That's what Cool One is telling us to do. Uh -huh. And Astro Science CD is the giveaway today. We're on our second question for those of you just tuning into K-pop, and we're an hour or two. It's K-pop MVP day, and we're giving you some prizes. If you missed the first question, it's gonna kind of be hard to catch up because all four questions have to be correct for you to win today's prize. Aww. So uh, let's jump into the easy clip mm. now. Now, Cohen's gonna tell you what we're doing again for question number two before we take a listen to it. So Cohen, take it away. Yes, you listen to the two different clips. One is a hard one, and you can listen to the easy Easy one this time, so you should figure out what the song title and the artist is. All right, so song title and artist. What we're going to do is take a listen to the easy clip now, so listen carefully. I'm married to the music. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, like I said, our producer is so sweet that she tries to give you song title hints for the easy <laughs> clip. Yes. So if you think you know who the artist is and mm -hmm. you were stuck on what the title of the song might be. Yes. Um, and you shouldn't have to worry about the title because the title is... Uh, yeah. Yeah. So easy. Normally, we uh, tell our listeners that we don't want to test you on your Korean skills. Hunger is not the point here. As long as you get it close to what it's supposed to be, and I know what you're trying to talk about, it's yes. fine. But today, you don't really need that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, today, you don't really need that. Hmm. So, uh, what could be the song title and the artist for this track? A lot of our listeners are already sending in the answer, which is great. You can continue to send in the answer. The next song break is actually pretty long. Uh, it's uh, over four minutes, it looks like. So, uh, you're going to get a chance to, mm. um, yeah, have plenty of time to 
figure yes. out the answer. Yes. If you need to change it or anything, it'll be uh, perfect as well. Yeah. But uh, let's go on and have Kuhn give us what we're doing for uh, question number two again, and then we're going to take a listen to the easy clip again, too. So, Kuhn, take it away. Yes. There are two clips, and one is a hard one, and the other is an easy one. So you should listen to the easy clip this time, this one last time, and figure out what the song title and the artist is. All right, so song title and artist is what you're figuring out. We're going to take a listen to the easy clip one last time, so listen carefully. I'm married to the music. Very easy to uh, sing along to. Now, like I said, the next song is actually pretty long. Uh, yeah. It's four minutes and 37 seconds. Wow. Very wow. hard to see a song this long these days. Uh, this is another hint to the artist we were talking about earlier. The song is going to be a hint for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you listen carefully or maybe if you know a lot of the members, maybe this might help. Yeah. So uh, start sending in the answers. Uh, you do have plenty of time to change your answer if you have to. Remember that once the song is over that you have to finish sending in your answers. Yes. Uh, Tungyeon is going to be singing How Do I Good End of a Day and we'll see you guys back after this. So we have the answer to question number two and question number three. Nice song. Good. Uh, one of the longer ones. So we gave you plenty of time to change your answer if you needed to. Yeah. Uh, that was Chung Yeon's track, How Do It Good End of a Day. And now we're ending question number two. So if you're sending in the answers now, please stop. We are ending the question. So yes. uh, let's give them the answers. Cool. And what is the answer? The answer was Married to the Music by Shiny. Yeah, Chung Yeon is a member of Shiny. We we're actually talking about Chung Yeon. Yeah. So yeah, poor, apparently before Chung Yeon debuted, he could not hit any high notes. Very soft spoken mm -hmm. person. Person, but there just came that one point in his training wow. uh, process, and he was able to. Uh, yeah, mm, that's that's really interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Uh, moving on, so we're uh, looking at question number three now. As we finish question number two, I personally think it's one of the hardest questions. <laughs> Me too. So, mm. what are we doing for question number three today? Uh, question number three is. Kind of math question. Mm, should, it is a math question. Yes. You should count the number of their members. Mm -hmm. So listen carefully. Ready? <sighs> I got my pen. Yeah. If you need a calculator, get your calculator. Oh, you need only fingers today. Okay, only fingers. Yes. Uh, we're talking about uh, some of the members we talked about earlier about uh, the famous K-pop idols who are now acting. Yeah. So. Yeah. What we're going to do is uh, look at the artist. Who are we looking at? Yes. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Ready when you are. <laughs> girls Day members. Okay, Girls Day. Plus. Plus. Orange Caramel members. Okay, Orange Caramel. Minus. Minus. Shiny members. Shiny. Um. Oh, this actually isn't that hard today. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, Orange Caramel is a subunit team 
just to let you guys know if you guys are spazzing out. Yes. They have their many years since their debut, so... Yeah, as a unit, they've got so many years under their belt, I think that it mm-hmm. shouldn't be too hard to figure it out. Yeah. Girls' Day has had member changes, but they've been popular. They got popular with the current amount of members, so mm-hmm. I don't think it should be too confusing. Right. Um. So the current amount of members for that team. Hmm. 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 So what we're going to do is give you the equation again. Today, it's not that hard. Yeah, it's all. not that hard. Normally, I'm like, oh. What are we going to do? But, yeah, today I don't think it's that hard. So uh, let's look at uh, the equation again. Kuhn, could you give us the equation again, please? Yes. Uh, and remember, we're talking about the acting idols. Yes. That yes. is our topic for today. So yes. we've already talked about these members earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go. <laughs> Ready when you are. Girl Day members plus orange caramel members minus shiny members. Okay. So, Girls Day plus orange caramel, orange caramel minus, minus shiny. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, already our listeners are sending in the right answer. What? Wow. Really? Well, it's not that hard. Yeah. Today. Today's number is not that big. Yeah. All fingers. Yeah. Not too hard. And the numbers are similar to each other. <laughs> yeah, we're not going like overboard with the numbers either yes yeah we're not not at all pretty simple Mm. pretty simple i remember that i really liked shiny when they're they have their debut stage (laughs) oh yes i think all girls love their debut stage yes i was not do not do not know it was their debut song and i was not do not but but i still liked it (laughs) yes (laughs) (laughs) yes when they first debuted it did make all those older fans the nuna fans uh (laughs) hearts melt indeed right so you need to figure out i mean the teams aren't that hard girls they found their popularity after their members changed so it shouldn't be too hard for you to figure this out Mm -hmm. orange caramel is a subunit but we already talked about a few of the members earlier anyway so it shouldn't be too hard either and we've been talking about shiny like since the last song so yeah, it's pretty easy. Yes. So with that in mind, you have to add and subtract the members. And so Kuhn's going to give you the equation again. So listen carefully. Girl Stay members mm-hmm. plus orange caramel members minus shiny members. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel that orange caramel uh, really was able to redefine the K-pop scene because they brought in what Japan was doing with J-pop mm-hmm. with, you know, cute, <gasps> yes. almost cosplay like of... Yes, yes. Uh... Yeah, attire, plus really unique, cute, too cute. Yeah, too cute songs and too songs. cute costumes. But it worked. Yes, it worked. A lot of people loved it, and they started doing parodies of it. And I feel that it opened up a lot of doors for some of the more newer K-pop yeah. girl groups too. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, with that in mind, uh, let's give them the equation one last time, and then we're going to be jumping into our next song break. Girl Stay members mm-hmm. plus Orange Caramel members minus Shiny members. All right. That's the equation. We are going to take a song break now. Uh, remember that Astro Science City is going out for grabs. For those of you wow. who have gotten the answers right up until now, mm-hmm. uh, you're almost done. We have uh, one more question left after this one. Mm-hmm. The next song break is 3 minutes 20 seconds, so you have plenty of time to uh, add up and subtract and do everything that you need to do. Uh, we have Orange Caramel who teamed up with 10 centimeters with Anna Joy. Hug song. We'll see you guys back after this with the answer and the last question for today. Hook song, Anna Joyal was Orange Caramel with 10 centimeters collaboration. The song is over. That means the question is over too. So please stop sending in the answers to question number three. It is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. What was the answer for question number three? The answer was two. (laughs) Two. Yeah, two. Only two. Yeah, so girls needs four. Mm -hmm. Orange Caramel is three. And shiny, five. Five. So seven minus five. Mm -hmm. Two. Yes. Yeah. Very easy. Today, I think, was one of the easiest ones. Yeah, that's the Chuseok Sunmul. 
Yeah. Choose a gift. Choose a gift. Yes. <laughs> Making it a lot easy for you. <laughs> now, the last question is actually pretty easy, too. It's just that Kulon always has to have a mouthful to explain <laughs> to us what question number four is. Yes. So I'm going to let uh, Kulon get her tongue twister out <laughs> of the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> Kulon, yeah. could you start with the last question for today? Okay. Choose the wrong one about new acting idol. Okay. It, the choices are, one, BTS V's. Debut drama is Hwarang. And two, Nana and Liji are the members of Orange Caramel Rick Yui. With three, Shiny Ki is now good at acting as a character who prepares for civil servants of grade nine students. Mm. And four, Girl Stay Bina acted well as a main character at Minyo Gongshimi. Or what is called in English? I'll find it for you. Yes. So let's go back for uh, the choices for today. So we're at the fourth question for today. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's try to figure that out by giving the choices again. Pretty please? Yes. Choose the wrong one about new acting idol. Mm -hmm. The choices are, one, BTS V's debut drama is Hwarang. Two, Dana and Liji are the members of Orange Caramel with Yui. And three, Shiny Ki is now good at acting as a character who prepares for civil servants of grade nine students. Mm -hmm. And four, Girl Stay Mina acted well as a main character at Minya Gongshimi. Beautiful Gongshim. Ah, beautiful Gongshim. All right. So yeah, uh, it's about the dramas. We're talking about our actors are our favorite K-pop celebrities in dramas. Mm -hmm. uh, they are doing a lot of acting right now. Pretty much if you turn the channel, it's at least one of these artists are in a drama these days. Yeah. So it's uh, quite easy to figure it out. Even mm -hmm. if you haven't been uh, looking at the dramas recently, you've probably seen on uh, some of the other mm -hmm. sites that these artists are going to be in dramas. Yes. So we're asking you whose uh, information is wrong. Yeah, wrong one. Yeah, so the wrong information that is paired with the idol. So mm -hmm. uh, figure that out. Kuhn's going to give you the choices again. So Kuhn, could you do the honors? Yes. Choose the wrong one about new acting idol. The choices are, one, BTS V's debut drama is Hwarang. Two, Nana and DJ are the members of Orange Caramel Rick Yui. Mm -hmm. And three, Shiny Ki is now good at acting as a character who prepares for civil servants of great nine students. Four, Girls Stay Mina acted well as a main character at Minyo Gongshim, Beautiful Gongshim. Yep. Yep. You don't need to know all about the dramas, I think. Yeah, honestly, I don't know a lot about all these dramas. I've seen them maybe once or twice, or I've heard about something about it, but I, I still, I think I can get the right answer. Yes, right. So uh, I don't think, even though the topic today is K-dramas, mm -hmm. don't focus on the drama part too much yes right we're talking about the idol groups. yeah we're talking about idols today let's see a few of our listeners are sending in the right answer there <laughs> we go wow so our listeners are sending in the right answer so it is kind of hard but it is kind of easy yes yes it that really sense? stands out. Kind of hard, kind of easy. Uh, it does stand out. Uh, Kuan does make a point. It does stand out. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just give them the uh, choices a few more times so that we can uh, maybe help them figure it out. Yes. All right. Choose the wrong choice about new acting idol group members. All right. The choices are, one, BTS Flea is, uh, Flea's debut drama is Hwarang. Two, Nana and Liji are the members of Orange Caramel Rick Yui. Mm -hmm. Three, Shiny Ki is now good at acting as a character who prepares for civil servants of grade 9 students. And four, Girl Say Mina acted well as a main character at Minyo Gongshimi, Beautiful Gongshim. Okay. So uh, it's a mouthful for Kuon, but it's actually kind of easy if you think about it. Yes. Now, even though we're focusing on our favorite idols in dramas these days, uh, I think for the last question, you don't have to focus on the drama part too mm. much. Right. You might want to focus on the artist just a little bit more. Um, we've given you four questions up until now for the K-pop MVP for a chance to win Astro Science CD. That's the ultimate prize for today. Mm -hmm. If you've been sending in your answers and you've gotten everything right up until now, this is the last question to find out if you've gotten right if you have yes. you're going to be chosen right after this as our lucky winner for today to be today's k-pop mvp yeah, so cheer up. 
So if you maybe missed one or two today and uh, you're already disqualified technically, it's okay because what we're going to do is have this every single week. Every single Tuesday. Yep. Kwon joins us in the studio every Tuesday to help you yes. out to win some prizes. So it's not too discouraging. If you missed today, it's fine. Mm-hmm. We're, there's always next week. And then there might be a bigger prize and a, more of a CD that you want next week <laughs> yes. than today's giveaway. So always tune in Tuesdays to test your K-pop knowledge. Mm-hmm. But let's give them the choices one last time before we get into our last song break, before I find out who the winner is for today. Uh, yes. She is the wrong one about new acting idol. And the choices are, one, BTS V's debut drama is 화랑. Two, Nana and Liji are the members of Orange Caramel with Yui. Three, Shiny Key is now good at acting as a character who prepares for civil servants of great nine students. And four, Girls Day Bina acted well as a main character at Minyo Gongshimi, Beautiful Gongshimi. Okay, we have uh, BTS's track run. It's almost four minutes, three minutes, 55 seconds. Wow. We shall see you guys back after this with this week's K pop MVP. <laughs> Great song, yes. BTS. All right, it's time for us to figure out what the answer was, so please stop sending in your answers to question number four. So, Kuhn, what was the answer? The answer was number two. Nana and DJ are the members of Orange Caramel Re- Reina. Yeah. So, yes, uh, Yui was not in Orange Caramel. Mm-hmm. She was already too busy with her acting career. Yes, right. Uh, what we're going to do is tell you who the winner is for today with the ID Misty88 from Tunisia. Fatima, Ooh. you are our winner for today. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Fatima, I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to pronounce your last name, so I apologize. <laughs> I don't want to butcher it on live air but, so so Fatma from T- uh, Tunisia you are our winner for today with the ID Misty 88 please go over to our winner information board to claim your prize and leave your name your phone number and your address Astro Science CD is going to you as soon as wow. possible wow go on have a great Chuseok yes and we will see yes. you back next Tuesday uh, hopefully well rested yeah well fed yeah what we're gonna do is uh, <laughs> end today's show with Ailey's If You and we'll see you next week happy Chuseok bye